<laughs> yeah, you're probably gonna have a little bit of a luxury problem here, if I'm honest. Look, if you're in the market for a new pair of control boots, recently there are a lot of really, really good options to choose from. And while that's great, it can also be you know, a little hard to decide on what to go with. So in today's video, I'll give you my personal top five list of the best control boots right now in early 2024. Uh, wait a second, Jay. What is a good control boot? Well, to me at least, it's a boot that somehow amplifies or enhances the way you're touching the ball feels. And that's usually through some sort of micro texturing on the upper or, you know, a striking or touch or shooting element of some sort. Now, it doesn't have to be that way, but typically that's a really good control boot for me. But the thing is that I'm not only going to judge the boots on how grippy they are, how much control you feel you have, because for me, they also have to be good football boots. They need to feel and especially fit really well as well. So I'm going to keep a little bit of a balance here and not only judge them on the levels of grip. Of course, if all you care about is grip, your list might look different to mine. So just keep it in mind. And of course, also keep in mind that if you want any of the boots on the list, you can find the link in the description or in the cards right up there. But with that said, let's go. And uh, we can start out with the Puma Future 7 Ultimate, which <laughs> it might be a little bit harsh to have it all the way down in fifth because they're a great pair of football boots, but the alternatives are also really good. So here we are. Now, what I really like about the Future is is really the upper. It's very, very soft, but also slightly padded, and it feels basically a lot like a pair of slippers. But then, of course, you also have this little bit of hold and sensation of lockdown on the top from the power tape, which adds for a very interesting cocktail. Now, then, of course, you also have the micro texturing, the power print all over, which is pretty, you can hear it, it's pretty gritty and it's pretty rough, and you definitely feel that on the ball. But for some reason, I also feel that it's it's a little bit more flat compared to some of the alternatives out there. And I don't know what's going on with the ball spots here. Maybe they took inspiration from my head, but you know, I don't know what that's all about. And for me anyways, the key feature on the future is the fit. And then the, the grip and control elements are kind of like a side thing on top. So, you know, it, it's decent and it gives enough confidence on the ball for me, but it just feels like Puma could have dialed it up a bit and just, tuned it to be slightly more significant. But still, great pair of boots. And in fourth place, you do get a bit more significant texture on the Skechers SKX-01, which can also be referred to as the Nike Phantom GT3, in spirit at least. Uh, but it's, it's a very, very solid football boot with a really well-fitting upper, a knitted upper that is super soft out of the box and even more insanely soft when you break it in. It's really well built. And then of course you have this all over micro texturing that, that feels a lot like what we know from the Phantom GT series. It's these little silicone dots and of course these wavy stripes on top of the boot that might not be as rough and gritty as the Puma Future, but for me at least, it somehow also feels a little bit more grippy when you start to manipulate the ball on feet. And because it's all over, it's just got this very consistent, micro-textured, almost controllable, for lack of a better word, feel to it that's both balanced, but also potent. And I really, really enjoy that. So if you've ever loved the Phantom GTs or the Phantom Visions, this is kind of more of the same, but frankly also a little bit better. Oh yeah, and if you're still a little bit skeptical about Skechers, well, it's built by, at least in part, ex-Nike people who know what they're doing. So uh, yeah, don't worry. And then there is the New Balance Tequila 4 Plus Pro Low, which uh, arguably is the least textured and grippy boot on the list. So um, what on earth is it doing in third place? And that's a great question. But for me, the Tequila is just so good as a package. The fit is unreal. The upper is so soft. The heel has a lovely lockdown and it's super streamlined. And given the fact that you still get a good amount of natural texture from the knitted forefoot here and the ribs on the instep, I would still say that as a package, there's still enough feeling of manipulating the ball and it's super comfortable. So as a whole, I would choose the Tequilas over the Futures and the SKXs. And, and sure, if grip is all you're looking for, these are probably not in the conversation for top three, 
but if you can live with a slightly less obviously sticky grippy sensation on the upper that upper package itself will more than compensate for that super underrated pair of boots for me but new balance would it have hurt you to give us just a little bit more texture or you know like a sticky coating as we see on the Chambo legend 10s no i don't think it would but hey you can do it on the tequila fives i'll take 10 percent But before we move on to the top two, which are a little bit in the league of their own, I also want to give an honorable mention shout out to the Chamber Legend 10 Elite, which uh, I feel kind of, you know, ips its toes into the control boot category as well, because you have this slightly matte sticky feel to the upper and a little bit of that micro texturing from the dots as well. And it's probably on the more subtle, elegant tone downside, but the boots are great. They're wonderfully light and fit really well. and. You know, for me, it's kind of also the spiritual Nike CTR 360 My Street 4. So uh, if you're into that, you know, this could pass as a control boot as well. I mean, I wouldn't judge you. But the top two for me is in a league of their own. And in second place, we have the Nike Phantom GX2 and Luna 2, if you're into the whole color thing. And honestly, <laughs> It, it, it's quite harsh for this to only be second because they are an amazing pair of football boots and probably some of the most widely appealing boots out there that I think everyone could put on and honestly just enjoy right from the get-go because they're insanely soft and comfortable. They're really easy fitting and also just very lightweight. So great experience out of the box. But of course, the real difference maker here is the grip knit upper, which has this almost like spiderweb sticky sensation of grip to it. And of course, then the rib texture on top that gives this more traditional textured feel on the ball as well. And it's just very unique because you get this really amplified feeling of grip that's just a natural part of the boot. And it's just consistently there all over like a sticky pair of socks. So if you want that feeling of what it would be like if your feet had almost been genetically engineered to have more grip from the get-go, these are an absolute no-brainer. Oh, and a pro tip, if you don't get along with the Cyclone 360 outsole, I'll go for the AG Pro version that you can also use on natural grass that feels a bit more like the natural GX outsole. And uh, I prefer this one. And then we end up in first place, where you don't need a degree in rocket science to figure out that the Predator Elites are going to be there. And they're just special boots. Whether you go for the fold-over tongue, the laceless, or the regular Elite version with the short tongue, that I personally prefer, you just get a phenomenal pair of football boots that fit extremely well with this really soft and almost slightly leather-like HyperTouch 2.0 upper that is just a really, really good upper. But the Predators also feel slightly more traditional because of this traditional you throw tongue construction that you can open up and really, really adjust to the shape of your foot, more so than the slightly more sock construction boots. And of course, you also have a very lovely anatomical fit to them. So great to wear, very lightweight, but of course, as with all the other boots, the real kicker would be the strike skin fins here. These almost like little brushes made up of sticky SL rubber that are, you can almost hear it there, they're very, very, very grippy to the point where you feel that it just adds that something extra when you touch and especially strike the ball. It just it really helps in manipulating the ball to a degree that I don't feel in the other boots out there. And the texture on the other boots, it feels a bit more like an integrated part of the boot. Some people will prefer that, but I really like how the strike skin feels like actual tools on top of the boot that you can really use to manipulate the ball with. So while they're really great to wear, the Preds are probably also my go-to boots when I feel like I need some extra help on the ball. I need that mental boost. Because quite frankly, um, they're ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, the thing is that wearing either of these boots, as good as they may be, is not going to magically improve your touch overnight and turn you into Kevin De Bruyne. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be cool, but that's not the case. But I do still feel that they do something, mentally for me at least. It might be the placebo effect, 
but I do feel that they somehow add a level of confidence and the sensation that I just have a little bit more to work with. You know, the feeling that the boots just, they help me a little bit. And I really enjoy that. And the cool thing is that of this list and with the Chimpos, you can't really make a bad choice because quite frankly, they're all good football boots. And of course, you can find all of them in the link to the sport right over there or in the description. But which would you go for? Let me know in the comment section right down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on if you haven't done so already. And if you want more boot content, check the playlist right down there. With those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio, my friends.